you don't pick against Brady. Don't if the Browns Monday. win that game Monday, you might record without me. You are now listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fans podcast. Now here's your host, Alec Beichelman and the fans. In the middle. Hello and welcome Ooh, to the Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. I am Alec Bachman, welcoming in to the studio, the fans. Guys, how are we doing tonight? Doing good, doing good. I lost my hat. Well, I'm here. Want to know what? You want to know why you lost your hat? It's because it's camouflaged, okay? It's just in plain sight, you know? So if, know. if we see the uh, the, the kind of like that, like that, that scope flash, you know? In the middle of the in the middle of the uh, live stream, just duck, just just no, just duck. Just duck with his hat. My windows open. This ain't cool. You can't joke about shit like that. My windows open. My windows open. Hopefully, you're having the window. Well, then close it. Yeah, it's just that simple. Well, just just burn, just burn alive well, in your room. No, no, so I can I can leave my window open because I don't have shitheads of Marion driving around all the time. Hey, so. man, I felt that personally. Okay. <laughs> I feel that personally. And so what? I do have my window open. So if you hear somebody wearing some some mid-tier music, we know why, okay? It's okay. Now it's in a street. Yes. So on that, let's kick this guy off right. Dalton, what's on the mind? Well, I set my openers for next Saturday with our group um, for my – wait, for my push-pull competition June 4th. Okay. Um I'm opening up bench at 395, and my deadlift's going to open up at 565. So, um, other than that, I mean, it's Wednesday, dude. I mean, it glad to be on here. Uh, I know there's a lot I've been hearing about on, you know, just being in the truck on sports today. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of overwhelming. Oh, that's another thing, too. I had my truck take a dump on me today at work. Beautiful. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. Um, I, um, problems. I believe you and I were in conversation during that whole situation. Yeah, it wasn't fun. <laughs> when, a semi, when a semi only wants to go about 55, 60 miles an hour on roads that you're supposed to go 70 miles an hour, that's not good. Yeah, you probably had a few people uh, I hate that. speeding past you angry. A little bit. One or two. Just a how many times were you called number one? A lot. Interesting. Okay. A lot. Interesting. As many Karens and Kyles that I've had flip me off in that truck, it's it's amazing. Was there any Daves flipping you off? Oh yeah, yeah. See, I I saw there was a stat too that you know the the effective of Karen is Dave. How's that? How do you feel about that? Dave? Oh, Karen is Dave. <laughs> See, look, I'm number one again. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Thank you it's so much a, for making my day. It's just an hourly occurrence, isn't it? I'm number two. At this point, yes. Mm-hmm. I got it at Target half off, so I got you two. Nice. Nice. Bogo. You got it a Bogo deal. <laughs> I was not in a Bogo special, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, bud. What's up, bud? Can't miss a, can't miss a Bogo deal. I got a visitor. You got a cat? Mm. It's a cat. Hey. Kitty! Percival! What's his name? name? His name is Percy. Percival. Percy. He uh he loves sitting under my chair, which is horrendous. Um, because I go to slide and I'm like, do I have a cat under me? Yeah, that'd be bad. It's pretty much a fear. Yeah, that would be terrible. It, it's a lifelong fear at this point. Dave, what's on the mind? Oh, you know, excited to talk uh sports with you guys. We got some uh Pretty big AFC North news uh, yesterday. We got it late last night. We've gotten a lot of uh, AFC North news. So, yeah. Well, well, coming out like for us, I mean, the Steelers don't ever change uh, higher up personnel. So to have a new GM in Pittsburgh, that's a uh, you know we don't we don't we haven't done that in twenty one years. They hired their last GM before I was born, so it's my entire life's been one GM. That's the standard and consistency change. Uh, but we'll get into AFC North stuff later. I got some questions for you guys. Never heard of her. Um, but, uh, 
But yeah, I put in uh, I put in for vacation today. I know Chris isn't going to believe that, but I, I took a vacation in June. Yeah, but the question is, will John Menard let you take off? You know what vacation uh, It got approved, so I'm gone. So what are the what, boys? He's going to be, be so- outside. There will be snow there- on the ground tomorrow. Thank you. There will also be... Hell Don't is freezing me. over. Fuck that. Don't say that. So, Hell is freezing over. The other thing... Please uh, don't. For one week, there'll be cheaper water heaters for one week. So if you need a new water oh my heater, God. one week. You'll it's a one-week one special, week. huh? It's a when, one it, when, week when is this? Yeah, what is it? It'll be the third week, of, third week of June. It'll be the 18th through like 23rd. Interesting. Uh, water heaters, then. Uh, you, know, you better just stock up by bulk, bulk sale. Fair enough. <laughs> Are they doing a BOGO deal? Yeah. Yes. yes, sir. We'll, we'll do a bogo deal, but I want to get one half off. Race on what's on the mind. Uh, it's Wednesday. I'm tired. I have to be up early tomorrow. Uh, gonna be oh. up at, I, I got to be up at a quarter to five because I got to be in at six because no. I have shit that needs done tomorrow. Yeah, not looking forward to it, but it needs done. I think it means I get to leave at two, though, so. No, just don't uh, be tired. It's just that easy. Caffeine. Uh, easier said than done. Yeah, caffeine Monster. addiction. Uh, what do you think Dalton does? Caffeine. caffeine no, addiction. he doesn't do caffeine. He does uh, creatine. Yes. 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 And caffeine. Caffeine is creatine. He puts creatine and beer together, <laughs> and that's his caffeine. Hey, don't disrespect <laughs> the bomb like that. Yeah, I, don't, I don't, did. Don't ever disrespect the bomb like that ever again. You want to know why it's called the bomb? I want to blows up and it I, blows you up. I want to try this bomb sometime. I want to try the bomb sometime. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why? No, you don't. Why? 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 Fact, the bomb. Fact, I hate to step over Chris, but I've heard a rumor in Pennsylvania that there is a alcoholic protein shake or protein source of some sort. So, I was Dave. Dave, I need you to go look to your your land of mischief in Schittsburg and go try to find that for me. The land of misfit toys. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of alcohol, yes. Uh, did you guys see my message earlier in the Snapchat mm-hmm. chat group? No. Uh, I think big yeah. piece, big piece pit stop has Bush Apple. Yes, you did say that. Huh. I think Dave's got a Bush shirt on too. I'm not really <laughs> it's sad to say that it's he the last the Bush Apple shirt. It's the last one. It's, 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 the la- it's the last run of Bush Light Apple ever. They're not making it oh ever again. God. Is it really? Nope. So stock up, ladies and gentlemen. Stock up. Uh, I don't know. It kind of like it kind of sounds like a Taco Bell item. You know, they'll probably come back with it next year. You know. You you remember how when we were younger they always talked about oh well Baja Blast is only gonna get bottled one time ever and then it got bottled every summer and now it's it's hey. all around. I, I think feel the, like here's the thing, yeah. I think the first time it tasted better than that it does now. The first time it the tasted apple? great. No, I'm talking Baja Blast. Uh, uh, Baja. Uh, well, yeah, Baja Blast when we were younger was a different breed. Well, I yeah, know. it was. Yeah. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if they're making it with new syrup and different syrup contents and everything like that. Oh, I guarantee you they are. Yeah. But on that note, speaking of a guy that loves him some Baja Blast, Chris, what is on the mind? It is Wednesday, my dudes. One yes, more day of work. I got a day weekend coming up. Hell yeah. But it's Friday night's going to be – Friday afternoon, the early evening is going to be a little sentimental. I get to watch my nephew walk at his graduation. I'll be attending his graduation ceremony. That'll be Definitely awesome. Definitely a big – Moment in our family for him graduating. Hell yeah. Proud of Absolutely. Him. And while we're on that conversation, congrats to everyone graduating college, high school, the whole nine. Yes. Definitely know some more seniors graduating. I'll give them a shout out later. Absolutely. Um, it is a major achievement to do such at yes. those levels. It just needs to be yes. acknowledged. So, yes. we about ready to kick this guy off. Yeah, let's get started. So, I've been having a spectacular day. I drove an entire hour just to be at work for two hours. (laughs) Mm -hmm. But, you know, I stopped in Amish country. 
And I started getting some stuff for the party this weekend. So there you go. Yes. Oh God. Mm-hmm. I will be there. I will just be late. Okay. Oh boy. Just letting you know. You're but you're all late. It's gonna be fun. So, so there, on that note, there's gonna be a lot. A lot. It's gonna be a long night. Not a long night. It is. It fun is. night. But on that note. Speaking of things that need to be partied about, the Browns re-signed Jadavion Clowney. Yes. Something we need to party about. Give it to me. Pop pop some beers. Pop anything. We are partying over here in the AFC. Give it to me. I'll be careful saying pop anything because, I mean, people can misconstrue that. And Simmer down. We're popping champagne. Well... Well, popping champagne, popping beers, whatever. Easy. Browns reset yep. Clowney, and did I see it was 11 mil for one year? Yes, up to 11 mil. Yeah. Up to 11 mil, so it's probably a guarantee of like seven or eight with some bonuses. Good enough for me. There, there was a rumor I was reading on Twitter. I can't remember which player it was. It might, it was either Denzel. It might have been Anthony Walker, actually. Mm-hmm. Walker and Clowney were talking. And Walker's like, so what are you doing? Giovanni on Clowney said, Super Bowl. And as soon as he says Super Bowl, he re-signed with the Browns. I'm with it. So Clowney's going in with a big mindset. But there's still that one rumor. I haven't heard more on it. But you know, Sue is still looking into if he doesn't join Tampa, he may go into consideration into joining Cleveland. But who no. knows? Emeka Sue, Sue, defensive tackle. Okay. If we can say one thing, I can only get so erect. So, okay. are the Browns going to be able to pay Sue? That's the issue. Yeah, we have enough room. He, and honestly, he said if he's got to take a pay cut to join the Browns, he'll take that pay cut. Now, but, that is something I'm here for. But we don't know because Sue is still in talks. And who knows? He, may, I mean, his number one option still is return to Tampa, but Cleveland's second on his list. The problem with Sue is, and um, I've talked be, about this. He can be a case. No, he. I think he. That, I think he's done with that. But I think when he was a head case, he was in his best years. He was in his best years when he was a head case. Yeah. You think about it. He was a nut job. Yes. And I loved he it. He was. And he yes. kind of had it in Miami, but then once he joined the Rams, he settled down. But that's also because he had Aaron Donald on the other side. He's like, you know what? I'll be the anchor. Aaron Donald does everything. Right. Right. When it was uh, just him. What happened? It got him to the Super Bowl. Exactly. Yeah. Which, he'll be in a similar situation in Cleveland. Very similar. What will be yeah. interesting is if that three of them can amount to the same amount of work that T.J. Watt does by himself. So it'll be interesting to see. It'll be right here. It'll be as buddy, good as, as buddy. Boy. I'm buddy. I'm gonna tell you right now. Don't sleep on stuff on it. If we get, yeah. Thank you, Chris. If we get Nadama Kitsu, the Steelers are no more. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Let me. Najee, Najee will not be able to run at all. Who? Period. Who? Najee won't be able to run at all. Najee needs a line. <laughs> Your draft pickup is going to die. <laughs> baby hands will get pooed on. No, baby hands will get broken half. Like the same thing that happened to Justin Fields. I'm seeing a nine sack game. You had to mention that, at least on Justin's part. So, I'm going to be a week one. Did I'm that gonna, happen? I'm going to cry. So, I'm going to I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Sorry, so, I can't. You, you, you can't you can't re up me. I'm sorry. You oh, can't no, I can't. have one I can't. guy. We have three. I can't. <laughs> no, first of all, um the disrespect you just threw at Cameron Hayward. Um Yeah, what the hell, my man? Okay. You didn't I'm sorry. mention Cameron, you mentioned sorry. TJ. I'm not talking about so, my all around defensive line. I'm talking about my Browns defensive line. So and then also um I'm willing to bet you that baby hands wins a Super Bowl before your Cleveland Browns do. So, um, I'm willing to bet baby hands never wins a Super Bowl. What are you going to put on that? 
What do you want, big fella? I don't know. I'll go to Chapel if it's going to be eliminated from now on. We'll figure something out. Well, I mean, that's a pretty substantial bet. I mean, that's <laughs> that's a bet for life. Well, because here's the thing. Be it is a bet for life. So, it ain't ever happening. So here's, <laughs> here's, here's the thing bet. In order for either one of those teams to go to the Super Bowl, uh, Lamar Jackson has to get hurt, and Joe Burrow has to get hurt. Patrick Mahomes has to get hurt. Josh Allen has to get hurt. Possibility. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, they have to Allen. get to the Super Bowl. Russell Wilson has to get hurt. Um, they have to get to the Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers has to not be there. Matt Stafford has to not be there. Tom Brady has to not be there. Um, Who? So Ooh. there is legitimate, like, not happening. I don't think. I don't think anybody uh, in the AFC North besides the Bengals are legitimate Super Bowl contenders. Okay, uh, um, I would agree with that. I think the Bengals are the only legit, like, week one going in. I think they're the only one in the AFC North. I would agree with that. Thank you. Bob Mark be a sleeper, honestly. So, I'm gonna be honest with you. All of those things can happen. Um, all of those guys can also lose their weapons because I'm going to tell you now there's very few quarterbacks, and I mean very few quarterbacks, that can wake up one day and say, hey, I've lost every one of my wide receivers and every one of my running backs. Fuck it. Let's win 17 to 10. Very uh, few okay. quarterbacks can wake up and do that. Tom Brady. Uh, Mahomes. Mahomes, who I think this year we will see, can't can't technically do that. I think we're going to see that because he has a lot different of weapons in terms of the wide receiver position, he is not as explosive offensively. He's still explosive offensively. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we're going to see a drop. I don't think it'll be drastic, but it's still going to be noticeable. Yeah. More delusional than Cowboys fans. The uh, Steelers are going to stink. Yes, James, you are correct. Thank you, James. So, Dave, we've talked about this. I, th- I think now that it's going to shift back to a defensive game where it's such a high peak of an offensive game I that I think it's going to slowly start to shift back. I think you're going to see even more, which I'm perfectly fine with. I think you're going to see the running back in a running game make a reappearance. I would love that. I would have no issues if people beefed up offensive lines and we came out in the I formation, and we had a fullback. Bring the damn fullback back. Everybody, I, no, no, most, most no. teams will have a fullback. Not, not yeah. some of this fake bullshit where we have a tight end slash fullback. Give me a legit. Oh, Derek Watt's pretty solid for you guys. Don't talk bad about Derek Watt. I'm not. Give me a legit fullback to line up in the eye and bang in some motherfucker heads. So you mean an H back tight end, which is now the offense of the twenty first century? Now, yeah, legit. Like they're running it. Legit, Mike Allstott fullback. I mean, I'm with it, but I don't think every offensive coordinator that makes millions of dollars is with it. But I'm just uh, saying. Well, if you remember, Bruce right Arians up. would rather yeah. die than have a fullback. So, uh, fullback, exactly, fullback don't really fit the risk it for the biscuit. Uh, that, that, those don't go. You never know. No. I think. No. I think. You, I think the Browns' offense would be really good. I mean, if you can imagine, Chubb gets loose now. You put a get fullback in there to catch that linebacker. See, you. Chubb. Chubb's the top rated one. One of the top rated guys in the AFC North for offense. Oh, absolutely. He don't need no fullback to block for him. You just run through the linebacker. Pretty much. He is a fullback. He is the fullback. So the full running back. I get because I know Chris and I have talked before, and we've talked about like the problem with that is is you see that as you see the defensive side of the ball is going to keep getting more money. The cap's going to keep going up. Oh well, yeah. So, but you can't pay three running backs or two backs. They have to be. Like budgeted, you need to have three backs that make like twenty million, not one that makes eighteen and a half. And then you have two backups. You need to have. Um, so that's going to be the only thing, though. 
is I don't know that you're going to – I think you'll see more rotational running backs. Um, I think you'll see teams like, like – like Cleveland, I think, is going to probably carry four running backs into the season. No, I, I – I mean, they should carry four, but I think three are going to be they'll primary. Have, yeah, they'll at least have three. They'll oh, yeah. Have, they'll I have three. Even shocking they wouldn't have Burns Johnson. Yeah. Cleveland like could pull four, though, but they're at least carrying in three. Yeah, well, in the, I saw today practice squads could have up to 16 players on them. Interesting. So they, changed that. Awesome. They, they changed the IR, too. You now miss four games instead of three. And you can come back from IR twice. So okay. Once. So you can miss half the season on IR. Yes. Interesting. And still come back twice. Yeah. Really? Which is good for a lot of teams because you can put people on IR uh, in week 12 and get them yeah. for important finishing of wild card games. Yeah. And while having a deep practice squad of guys to pull up and you don't lose. So, yeah, no, that that's exactly what it, it's a big point. It's definitely something that is needed. Right. So, um, it's definitely, I, definitely I, interesting in terms of that. Um, uh, to, uh, I don't know if you saw, uh, there's a very big NFL workout today. I saw it. Yep. Very. I, I don't know nope. why. I, I don't I don't understand it. I Nope. <laughs> I just, I nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Nope. It's not even nope. worth it. What if what if they sign him? Sweet mother of God. They won't they actually decide to they won't. Oh, Who was it they for, won't. might I ask? They shouldn't. The Raiders. That's why it's I think it's a legit thing. Because the yeah. Raiders. I they, heard yes. <laughs> I picked up what you were like, talking about. But I'm like piecing it together because I hadn't heard a couple sleeper signings. No. Like, do you not know? No, I know. I know exactly. What, oh, once okay. I saw okay. you guys' well, you reaction, like you I kind of know. know. No, at first I didn't know, and then it kind of clicked. He said Raiders, and I was like, okay, I no. remember hearing it. That's yeah, been talked uh, about for months. We're talking yeah. since March, February? Yeah. He worked Allegedly. out today. No, he worked out today. Okay. So. Yeah, I no, to and to be honest, um, with everything that happened uh, in the last season with the Raiders, I, I see him doing it. I think it's a, uh, I, I, I think it's a publicity stunt. To be honest, that's the thing. The Raiders publicity. Could. It's a Raider thing to do. They've been doing it since 1972. I, I don't even think it's a Raider thing. Yeah. I don't think I it's a Raider thing. No, this is their. This is the league saying, hey. You need to do this to make good with the community. Do this. That's what that is. That's 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 Daddy uh, uh, Daddy Commish coming in. Okay, that's what that is. Daddy but, Goodale. The, but who knows? I don't know what could come out of this. He could come out and be great. Who knows? Uh, yeah. I, no, no. I don't know. You got to think positive. I tried, and I failed. It ain't working. Uh, I'm trying. Well, it ain't working. I gotta say, your positivity thinking today has gone downhill, especially since you, you lost your camo hat. And to be honest, I haven't seen the scope flash yet, so I'm gonna say you're safe for a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's just odd that a Browns fan can't have hope and positivity because that's what your guys' belief system as fans is based on. I don't know what I'm gonna say. It. Not mine. There's always this year. To be what? <laughs> to be what? Seven and ten? There's always this year. There's nothing else to be said. There's always this year. Or there's always next year, too. Ten and seven. Next next year never comes. You know that, right? Exactly. Take Course. that from an experienced Browns fan. Next next year never comes. Exactly. Next year. Talk about <laughs> So, definitely some conversations that we need to talk about. Continuing with some NFL talk, uh, there were some changes they were talking about to the Pro Bowl. Yes. yes. Um, do you guys know any of the changes that they were talking about? No more Pro Bowl game. Oh, yeah, they talked about this yeah. continuing the Pro Bowl game because the ratings went down. 
Yeah, so, they're thinking about it. At least that's what I was reading earlier today. We had yeah. had this conversation during the time of the Pro Bowl this year. They need to change the date of it, if I remember correctly, something we had talked about. They need to have it after the Super Bowl. They should have brought it back after the Super yes. Bowl like they originally did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to cherish the memories and have it back in Honolulu, Hawaii? You could, mm-hmm. but you could have it in Orlando, Florida or anything. But no, the Super Bowl, that way the players that were – invited in and said, hey, you're a Pro Bowler. We want you to play in the Pro Bowl. And they're playing in the Super Bowl. They could fly out and play in the Pro Bowl right after a day playing the Super Bowl, whether they won or lost the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. But they got a game to play for fun, you know? I don't think they really want to get rid of it, but I really think they should bring back the date and definitely the Honolulu. Yeah, I right. think they definitely keep Honolulu in rotation at least. Well, no, no, just... Take it back to Honolulu in general. Yeah. Because, I mean, if we're thinking about, you know, locations and stuff, Hawaii is the only place that that stays the same year-round. I mean, it rains every day. Okay. You want to know where else it rains every day? Seattle. What football player doesn't like playing in the rain? No, but you're there. Like, nobody wants to stop and tear an ACL. Like, I I get it. I don't go hard enough to tear an ACL. Every other All Star game moves, change the cities, new people get to see it. Move it every year. But okay, okay. In that case, so then... hold on. Let's talk about this, Dave. What oh. month is the Pro Bowl in? Ah, <laughs> uh, February. Okay, so February. Now, where are you okay, going to go? So, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. So, I'm going to give you two options as a professional in the National Football League. Would you, sir, that let's say you play for, I don't know, let's say you play for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Would you love to go to Honolulu, Hawaii, where it's most likely going to be sunny, or you might get a little bit of rain, maybe a volcano might erupt, or how about this? How about I take you to the ass crack of fucking shit and take you to the north? Where it's fucking snowing, goddamn hail, fucking goddamn car size and heavy weight of snow. And you're going to go I play say, a fun day? You're going to go have some fun with the boys and tear an ACL, say, break a fucking leg? I, I don't know, lose uh, lose your entire body? Did so, I ever say, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I ever say put the Pro Bowl in the north? No, you there said move it around. Of, Let people move see it. around. It. There. Okay, so you just said, hey, let's rotate it around five places. Let's go to California. Let's go to Florida. Let's go to Texas, and let's go to Hawaii. No, that's the dumbest thing in the fucking world. No. You just rotate you it might as well keep it at one fucking place. That's just dumb. It's that's what happened in Vegas. The Super, Bowl does, the Super Bowl does the same shit. The Super Bowl okay. in like six different cities. Okay, that's the Super Bowl. That it's that's its thing. All right, that's its thing. And the, the thing is, when they build a new stadium, there, bud, they have to do a, a, a Super Bowl there. So they're gonna have to have a snow Super Bowl one of these years. Yes. They're gonna be running around in six inches of snow. Bill's Mafia is getting the snowy Super Bowl. Damn it! Absolutely. I'm here for it. What this happens okay. when First Energy gets stripped off of Cleveland and they redo that fucking uh, stadium in a couple of years? Huh? They don't throw a well, fucking bowl on that shit. Yeah. You're going to get no. goddamn Wait, rain in no, one. Dude, you're yeah, going to have the first half you. rain, second half snow, third half sun, and the fucking fourth quarter, you're going to have a goddamn hurricane on the 50-yard line. <laughs> well, so, uh, here's the issue. Um, they would probably change the policy for that. Because there's nothing to do in Cleveland. So therefore, other don't look at me like that. There's one thing to do in Cleveland. Well, there's plenty of things game. to do in Cleveland. What are you they talking have, they about? They just had two all-star games in Cleveland in the last five years. Yeah. They stayed by the lake. They're not yeah. what was, what was, when was the last that. all-star game in Pittsburgh? Wait, uh, Pittsburgh has an all-star game? Oh. In the Tinio Stadium. I, I, honestly, off that... I don't have to say shit. <laughs> when, when was the last Pittsburgh All-Star game? Oh, you know. I'll wait. I believe it was 
2005. Yes, 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 yes. No. Yes. You were you were five, correct? Yes. You were this many. Yeah. This many. Yeah, yeah. This yes. many. This many. <laughs> yes. This yeah. many. Yeah. You guys so, know the best part? Pittsburgh will uh, never host a basketball all star game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, so, but want to know what? Yeah, they yeah. should host a baseball all star game because that fucking stadium, man. They have. Now, they will never, ever have a basketball team because they'll leave in seven years because the city of Pittsburgh doesn't give two shits about basketball. Uh, okay, I'll take game. it or leave it. <laughs> no. Fine. I, take it. The NHL should put an all star game there because PPG is oh. a new arena. Um, no. It's not that nice. But, he likes the penguins. Shut up. Uh, New arenas, and why the hell didn't Seattle just have one? So let's get back to the Pro Bowl real quick. Uh, James, Pro Bowl should just be gone. The players don't care about the game. The play of the game is terrible. I've seen more aggressive football during recess. Absolutely. I actually saw somebody actively break a collarbone Dude. at recess, so it's probably more competitive than some oh, NFL God. games at time. Hey. Oh, God. Nope. 20 throws, like a thousand yards, thousand yards rushing on recess, 20 tackles, you know. Right, we're going to have like, anything like it. Watch his name of the NFL Pro Bowl, but we'll just invite all the kids to go to wherever the Pro Bowl will be held at, and they'll just play backyard football. What are That's what? Actually, I have a good idea. That should Let's be go. the Pro Bowl. Just do the NFL exactly. Play 60. Exactly. The Play 60 kids can play in the Pro Bowl, you know. They're, well, they do. And set by have the flip, like your Pro Bowl players, have them be the coaches. Like split like your quarterback and running back, receiver corners. They and can you make coach. it a Nickelodeon special and you make it a Nickelodeon sweepstakes. Exactly. Well, I know they I know they used to do like the flag football championships around that time for like kids. So right. well, just show me that. I'd rather watch that. Let's be honest. Or but you gotta get in the slime zone, Raceland. We need the slime zone, you know. I got a better idea. What do you got? Shit about the slime zone. So here's what they should do for the Pro Bowl. Yeah. So mostly because it'd be good for some programs. They should take the top tier high schools and send them to play a game at the Pro Bowl before the Pro Bowl. I'm down for that. Like so they already have slime. something like that. Under Armour, yeah. But I have another one and have more kids. The Under like Armour can- is top pers- uh, prospects. Top prospects. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Top, yeah. Top That's not top teams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's the thing with that. Um, no. Why? Um, no. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Just why? like every other sport, I still want to watch the All Star Game. Just it can't. Like, there's got to be a way to make it better. But every other fucking sport's got an all-star game, and we see great, great things. So, Hold I on. still want to see... Mm. Mm-mm. There's one all-star game that's better than the other, and that's baseball is better than basketball. Correct. Basketball is the same way as the football, as the pro football game. Personally, I'm going to be hockey honest. The basketball all-star game. I'm well, going to be do honest. The basketball game is shoot threes. Mm. It's like 200 points. all-star baseball game. So, they're still trying to play a little bit of strategy. So here's the deal. Well, Major League Baseball, if I remember right, they have like advantages in the all-star game. Like the winning side. Not anymore. Got rid of it a couple years ago. They need, they need to bring that back. But Absolutely. Nothing. I was getting ready to bring that back. Yeah. So here, yeah, let's, let's just sit down and talk about this tier list real quick. Best all-star games, one through, I think it's five right now because you have baseball, hockey, basketball, football, and there's got to be another all-star game I'm missing. No, okay, so just top four. Soccer, I don't think do they have an all-star in terms of soccer. Um, which soccer MLS, does, if you're listening does. in. Soccer does. It's set up differently, though. It's okay. the MLS all-stars. Okay. And then they play, like, some of the best players from around the league, and that's just – they combine it together. So it's like MLS versus World Cup. Okay, so yeah. I'm definitely not going to vote on that then. Let's just go with those top four. 
um, because Listen. I've not seen that. But to be honest, that actually sounds really interesting because I'm starting to get a little bit more into soccer. It's Do you like hockey have a skills it, competition? Man. Larry, you are correct. Basketball actually does have some skills competitions. It's just some of them just kind of get overlapped by the actual All Star Game because the actual All Star Game is mid. Um, and the dumb contest so, is bullshit. In terms of All Star Games, number one has got to be baseball. Number two has got to be hockey. Number three is definitely going to be basketball because I actually tune into the NBA's a little bit too. And then I I never tune into the Pro Bowl as we lose Raceland. He'll be back in a minute. Um, for those four, rank them four. Rank those four for me, Dalton. Starting with you. So I'd have to go. Oh God, I'd have to go baseball. I like I, I like the I like the football. So I go mm-hmm. baseball, football, hockey, then basketball. Okay, Dave, who, what do you got? Uh, I'm gonna go uh, baseball, all star games by far the best. It's not even okay. close. There's a massive gap, and that's coming from me. Of all Absolutely. People. Um, I would go, then I would go the NHL, uh, what they do. They always change up theirs a little bit. And then I would go the Pro Bowl just because I like, like, obviously I'm a football guy. Um, but it's really close for me. Like, basketball, what it is is we get to see those guys pretty much just shoot around and have fun. They put, like, 200 points a piece on the board. Yeah. It's fun. They do crazy stuff because it doesn't matter. I mean, like, Steph and Luca pull up from the damn logo. And, I mean, not that Steph doesn't do that in a real game. Yeah. But, I so yeah, I would. That's a good, but I I agree. Baseball should. I didn't realize they quit doing that either. Raceland, what's your four? What you got, Raceland? His train is sitting out there. Raceland, what's your four? Uh, I gotta go baseball, NHL, NBA, then Pro Bowl. Fair enough. <laughs> That's Larry, good, uh, I I will have to bring that up in just a second. Chris, uh, you're four, sir. Thank you. I saw Larry's comment was trying to hold a straight face. Anyway, number one, nothing really touches it. Baseball. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Number two, and it's the National Hockey League All-Star. Skills competition, the game, even the format. Literally, they shortened it to make it three-on-three hockey. Beautiful. Chef's kiss. Three, I'll go NFL, but it's just... Like, you got baseball, then it's mm-hmm. hockey, but then it's just fighting towards the bottom where it's football and basketball. Yeah. And like Dave said, you got players just going to be like, hey, watch this, shooting from half court, making it and stuff. Yeah, Steph Curry can do it in the game. Damian Lillard could do it in the game. I saw y'all Morant try to do it in the game. I can't remember if he made it or not, but you got players doing that. But you'll have big men like LeBron. LeBron oh, sorry, LeBron. You'll have – there was a center that tried it the one game. In the All Star, I can't remember what center it was, but yeah, players doing that. Okay, cool, no big deal. But I miss it where you're gonna have a player just be like, "No, nah, watch this, run in the paint and just slam it down and try to break the backboard." NBA All Star weekend brings that back in the All Star game, then I'll start watching it a bit more. But definitely going baseball, hockey, football, basketball. So I'm the only one that had football too. Yeah. Um. I'm the only one that had basketball at three. Yeah. Wait, Don had hockey last? No, I did. I had basketball no, three. Hockey last. You had basketball three? Okay. Uh, yeah, because so, it went MLB, NHL, NBA. So, Raceland, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, I have to do it. It's a legal obligation. But Larry said – You don't have to. We, 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 we can just ignore it. He has to mention Baker going to? to the cards. <laughs> You know what? You know what? With the M1 through four, Aislinn. You know what? You know what? Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, He's going to tweet Baker. When I have. No, 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 no. I have time. So probably tomorrow when I get home. Yes. Uh, I'm going to start a Madden franchise and I'm going to have Baker with the Cardinals. And I'm going to purposely go 0 and 17. So can can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. Are, Are you keeping Kyler on that team? Oh, he's going to have to. Okay, if you keep Kyler on that team, you have to change the name to the Keebler Elves. Of quarter. No. <laughs> no, it would oh. just be the Oklahoma Sooners at that point. No, so, it just... Uh, it's it's, uh, it's, it's so a small world after all. It's a small world 
after all. I'm, I've kind of caught on. Larry sure. likes to mention Baker Mayfield a lot. Maybe he's going to miss Baker <laughs> and yelling at the TV. Oh, shut up. up. Shut up. Hey, hey, Dalton. No. hey, Dalton. Hey, Dalton. Yeah. Hey, Dalton. Yeah. Hey, Dalton. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Allegedly. Allegedly. If, you don't under- Allegedly. if you don't understand that reference, if you don't understand the reference, go back and listen to the podcast from this past week uh, where Absolutely. I yell allegedly like 20 times and Dalton gets pissed. And you want to know what? You want to know where you can check that out? Yeah, where can you check it out at? Well, you can check, check it, out. it out on Spotify. You can check it out on iHeartRadio. You can check it out on Spreaker, Google Podcast, And wait a minute. Hold up. Wait I'll a minute. it up on YouTube today. You can check Hold it out up. on YouTube. Hey. hey. You really? can check it out on our YouTube page. Yes, absolutely. Um, Holy shit. We're on YouTube. <laughs> yes, sir. We stepped I'm it up. Go subscribe to it now. Yes. Absolutely. So uh, if you haven't yet or if you have not seen it or if you've not gone on to the YouTube channel, go find us on YouTube at Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. Go give us a subscription. Give us a like. Comment, Larry. Talk about Baker going to the cards. I I, I don't care. Uh, talk about yeah. the fact that Dalton can't remember where his uh, camo hat is. I don't know. Put a comment in. <laughs> no, I can't find it. Stop mocking me, please. Stop <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Absolutely. See. Right there. Right there. Dedication. Right here. Dedication. Right there. Subscribed. Just just boom. Dead. Bell. Boom. <laughs> Click something on notifications your on. Here, my phone's dead, but I'm subscribed. Here, mm-hmm. there we yeah, go. He, he, he's using his uh, palm tablet. So, yeah, Not keep the conversation the going. Uh, Dave, do you want to chat a little bit about what was going on there in Pittsburgh with the new GM? Yes, uh, not often. Let's talk. So, I can't say I'm surprised they hired in house because they don't ever hire outside of in-house. Okay. Ever. For anything. Ever. Uh, But they win, so I can't really bitch. Um, So, I will say, I did did think it was going to be Lewis Riddick. I really did. Hold Uh, hold on. You win, but you don't win playoff games. Hey. You win, but you don't win playoff games. I was was Talk up. Playoffs. I was, Playoffs. They said, "Hey, Dave." Not, "Hey, Dave and Dalton." Said, "Hey, Dave." I'm, I'm gonna so, be honest with you. He, 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 he's right. I did say, "Hey, Dave." You know what's funny? That could be a scam, yeah. Shannon. He did. So he did. That's fine. We can argue back and forth all day like that. Um, I don't care. <laughs> but I, I, I did think it was gonna be Lewis Riddick. I really did because he's a pit guy. Uh, so he's from the area. I thought, and it kind of made sense. Um, I do. I think they knew the whole time what they were going to do. Absolutely. Um, it's just you know, good organizations know what they're going to do. Um, but letting things fall into place and happen naturally, get through the draft, give it a good time to get through. Um, personally, I, um, I think. Kevin Colbert someday down the roads, uh, Hall of Famer long after he's dead. He's got two mm-hmm. Super Bowls to do a third and drafted Hall of Famers. So uh, I think that makes him a Hall of Fame GM. He's probably dead, doesn't get to see it. Um, so you have big shoes to fill. Um, the only thing I don't love um, when you anytime you see a change, and I don't so much have to worry about it with this, um, there is an uncertainty. You know, they don't have proven quarterback yet um and they have a head coach that hasn't won a playoff game uh since 2016 so not that tomlin's on a hot seat but you know you have an unproven quarterback coach who hasn't won playoff games they've had late season collapses very regularly um so do you have a guy that comes in and wants to shake it up but it's a guy from in-house who knows the Steeler way um that's, uh, I think Pickett's. I think Pickett's the guy for them. So I'm not. Um, but you don't know until they play. I mean, he could suck. I mean, he could be awful. Um, he has I think, baby hands. I do think uh, we're about to see in Pittsburgh what it's like without a Hall of Fame quarterback. Uh, it's painful. What did you say? 
I think we're about to see what it's like without a Hall of Fame quarterback. I think it's going to be a rough year. Rough year. Um, year. 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 A year. Yeah. Year. A year. Hey. Year. Year. Raceland disliked that comment so much he had to walk away. Okay. Yeah. Only a year. One year. Wow. One rough. Year. A Hall of Famer. Your offense wow. is going to be Harris, bud. Dude, that's cool. Yeah, that's not Trubisky. I, you know, <laughs> I, oh. uh, hey, no. so, but I, uh, what'll be funny though is if this guy takes over and, uh, they do change things, they do a little bit more like you saw at the end, they finally spent money for agency. So it'll be interesting to see if that continues into the new trend if they start to spend money uh, maybe trade a little bit more so I'm excited to see that because um, Steeler fans hey, are getting as impatient as ever hey Dave hey Dave you see these you, you I, see these I, I, you see I, these I, I my nephew's two and has bigger my my nephew's two and has bigger hands than uh <laughs> than your quarterback now right now does you're welcome hold on uh, hang on <laughs> Can you, can you do that again for me? I couldn't see you. And I didn't get to see that. I couldn't see it. Man, you're not burned so bad. I yeah, leave the chat. Hey, so I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Uh, my camera, and sometimes every here goes in and out. So I didn't see a damn thing you did. Bracelet flashed his shirt, allegedly. <laughs> yeah. Get the perfect t-shirt, Eddie. Yeah, he need a new camera that I allegedly didn't see it. Damn. Oh, shit. So uh, my question is, is your nephew getting signed? He's falling off my dick, fuck. Raceland, my only question is, is the nephew getting signed by the uh, Steelers next season? Uh, I, I need to train him up a little bit more, but uh, I, I think he's got a good chance. He, he Although he he can he can throw well, but he likes to throw things between his legs, like and when he's um, bent over, so I think he's going to end up being a center. Better center, better oh, center, yeah. Center, long snapper, buddy. Center, long snapper. What? what? The small hand power combo. There you go. There you I go. There you go. There it is. You got your new combo, Dave. Yep. We're going to flip it. Both your center and your quarterback retire. You get a new center and quarterback, and they have one yeah. similarity, small hands. What, what was bad about that whole thing is I had no idea what Rayson was doing until he <laughs> grabbed his hands. And I was, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's that, that's part of shit right there. That's part of shit. So, so I'll have to go back and watch it because legitimately, like, I could not see Raceland screen at all. It was doing a loading thing. So oh my I had god! No idea what he did. You'll be able well, to see it on you. Oh yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Go. You'll be able to uh, see this this live actually on YouTube. Uh, don't know if it's going to be tonight, but hopefully it's going to be by tomorrow. Fair enough. Just, yeah, we'll say. I'm, I'm on the internet. Power of the internet, you know, it just takes that. Yeah, they did uh, talk about TV. Anyways. Definitely interesting with the fact that the Steelers organization is having a complete turnaround in terms of just everybody right now. Just new staff, new everything. Really, the only thing that hasn't changed is Mike Tomlin. I want to make a comment. Tomlin is not on a hot seat. No. no, no, no. (laughs) It's starting to get warm. So... It's starting. Mike Tomlin chooses his destiny. So you know, right. you ever seen like when your mom's like like cooking chili at the end, she'll kind of put it like on I'm simmer. Chili. My dad cooked chili. Okay, but like at the end, you got it on simmer just to keep it warm while you're finishing like the mac and cheese or something. Yeah, but, like that's what he's starting to do. Like it's starting to slowly, slowly catch. Um, Mike Tomlin ain't leaving until Cam Hayward leaves. I'll just say that. I wouldn't. So I don't think they'll ever fire him. Mm-mm. He'll step down before they fire him. They'll, they'll 
I don't know what they'll probably do one of those situations where they say, hey, it's time. <clears throat> and they'll say, hey, we'll buy you out of your contract. We'll we'll make you a deal. We'll we'll do something so that you're either in the office or you're you're still part of the organization, something along those lines. And or, he steps away from football, coaching. Or the so, football gods can answer my prayers. What'll be what are your prayers? Coach is straight. Matt roll. So, we'll welcome him with open arms, buddy. You're going to be dreaming for a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, quite a while. Chris, what will be interesting before that happens? Chris, if the organization has like a very down year, like some some people think they're going to be awful. I don't, they're never going to be awful. But if somehow they win the Steelers, so somehow they win like five. They, they, they can finish 8-8-1, eight, eight and one. it's a great year, because Mike Tomlin never had a losing record. The Steelers are going to go 500. <clears throat> if they only have like four games, you know, the problem's going to be you have a, a coach, you have a new GM, new quarterback, you could remove Mike Tomlin and very easily just slide Brian Flores in there. So that's going to be the issue if they suck. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Mm-hmm. No. Three years at, at yeah. earliest. Three years at earliest. <clears throat> and Brian Flores could have a new coaching opportunity by then. Absolutely. No, Brian He'll be at another. Brian Flores. So, but, uh, look, look. I'm, I'm all for uh, Arizona State firing her midwards at this point and going up to Flores. No, Flores. Yeah, that's going to be the thing, though. Can he get another NFL job after the lawsuit? I think he can. I don't know. No, he should. But will he, Oh, he definitely should. But the only one that's not going to get it. You, at, at college, you could do it. Like, because there's no, there's no, it's, he's, he runs a show. Yeah. It's his program. I mean, it's, but it, uh, in the NFL, you got to answer to, uh, the billionaire that you filed a lawsuit against. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, I'd say so. Yeah. Well, you and should. you've also, it's possible. You, you, Jimmy, you've also got to look at uh, the fact of, uh, some of these other guys from these other teams that he's naming, like Steve Wilkes from the Cardinals, the Cardinals probably won't ever touch him with a ten foot pole. No, no. Well, and I guess that's the next thing too. So if you're like a team like the Cardinals, if they collapse again, could you fire Kip Kingsbury? Depends yes, on how bad they, would. they would because he's young. They would fire him. He's in one of those positions that he'd be fired. Mm-hmm. At least they depend on how they he gave this. They just gave him an extension, so I don't know. I mean, to be fair, at one point the Rams gave Jeff Fisher an extension and fired him a week later. Like, it's not. <laughs> it could fall to shit. Good the point. Rams were going to finish 7-9, and nine and they were hoping for a game better, but it wasn't. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't even think they finished 7-9. and nine. No. It is. Uh, It'll be interesting too. So, like, I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see like how they answer the bell. I mean, you have this is a challenge. Um, mm. It's going to be a very different year of Steeler football. There's no like, oh, Ben's hurt. He's back at this point. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no A, B, or Brown to you know bail out of stuff. Um, Mason Rudolph's not going to be the excuse. Mm. So, um, Shotsky. So they'll still be the Browns. Boys. Because it's what they do. Antonio Brown, Brown they mentioned he wants to go back to Pittsburgh. So, uh, they'll, be, they'll beat the Browns and the Ravens twice because that's what they do. Mm. Uh, but they'll probably lose to the Bengals twice because that's what we do. Now. <laughs> no, I think they'll. I'll think they'll split with the Browns and Ravens. No, I I do think legitimately. I think they'll beat the Ravens twice, uh, but the Browns they'll probably split. I think they're both gonna split. Baltimore. I don't know, man. No. It's Baltimore. I think they'll get you in the first one, and then Baltimore will get hurt in the second half of the season, and you guys will get it pretty pretty handily. Probably Lately, two scores. What it's been, mm-hmm. um, if it happens, um, we win at home, and then they blow us out when we go there. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty I common. Blow us out of the water. 
sounds like every series. And to be Although, honest with you, I think it's going to be flipped with the Browns. You guys are going to win in Cleveland. We're going to win in Pittsburgh. I don't know. Flipped or same. I don't know yet. I don't so much care anymore about the wins in Cleveland because, you know, Ben's forever going to be the wingest, winningest quarterback in Ohio, so I don't, I don't really care. Like, so. Um, yeah, but he won't be the winningest quarterback you? in Cincinnati. I no, say, are you forgetting about Joe Shiesty? Yeah, Joe's going to. Winning his quarterback in Cleveland. So. I mean, yeah. Don't say Bon Jacoby Brissett. Oh, um. <laughs> um. He's hot trash. Uh, I'll take Jacoby Brissett over Sam Darnold. I, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? I said Jacoby Brissett is a bum. Yeah, and you think Sam Darnold's a Super Bowl quarterback? I also think, I'd never say he's Super Bowl quarterback. Don't don't he put words in my mouth. Same caliber. I I, 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 I think. I, I think uh, Brissett is a better quarterback than the one that uh, got his head crushed in that plays for the Steelers still somehow. Shasky. Yeah, that's, that's Shasky. Not hard to do. yeah I'd take Brissett over Rudolph. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Now, I, probably, little... I would probably take Brissett Rudolph. over Rudolph. Mr. Whiskey even. So Ooh. the yeah. other thing uh, that that's... happened today uh, – you got? So there's, a, there's a video of Carson Wentz just throwing an ugly interception at OTAs. Okay. Uh, is that a surprise? Surprise. Now, tell there's us something video. we were we were not expecting. Now, there's video yeah. from Bears OTAs. Justin Fields looks really good. Yes. Is that a good. surprise? No, I'm surprised because the Bears suck. There's nothing there. Okay, you said okay, you, you said the magic words. The bears suck. The bears, the bears <laughs> suck. The bears. Fields does not. No. No, I. Tom Brady could go to that team and, and suck. Well, <laughs> no, that's a fact. <laughs> that's, that's, true. Wins. What do you mean? that's a fact. He's the flag football for wins, and the NFL will poppycock poppycock him all the way to the top. There's, there's. Tom Tom would win at all 32 teams. It's just the level of winning. False. It, I'm going to tell you now. No, he won't. False. Soldier Field <laughs> is the safest place to go during a freaking tornado because there sure as hell ain't no touchdowns in Soldier Field. Okay? Well, <clears throat> safest well, damn place. Oh, no. There, there's actually a second stadium, too. The Big House is another one if you had to go to a college football field. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah. Damn. There was uh, lots of them in November at the big house. So never heard of her. Yeah, I don't remember. I that. don't remember it. So uh, there was a running back that just ran through your defense like butter. Hey, uh, you got a little shit stain on your hat. <laughs> my my Jim Harbaugh hat. Yeah, I know you got a little shit. Jimothy. <laughs> So blue. So I think we're about ready to wrap this up. You say you guy. need to poo? You go ahead and go. <laughs> nah, we're not going to stop you, Dave. Although I wouldn't do it in your room. I use the restroom. I, I would rather you go poo in a toilet than just shit yourself here on the live. <laughs> so I, I think we're about ready to wrap this guy up for the night. Uh, I want to I wanna bring up one last thing before we call it a night, though. Um, they are looking at the next or this year uh, in December on the 17th. Uh, Ohio State will be playing North Carolina in the CBS Sports Classic in Madison Square Garden. Um, yes. And we didn't figure out the other game that they're going to be playing as well for the CBS Sports Classic. Most likely it'll probably be Kentucky and Kansas yeah. from how they have it set up. Mm-hmm. But if you have two other teams, hey, don't be surprised. College so, basketball. I'll uh, say none of the basketball. Definitely not too early to start talking about college basketball. It is right around the corner as well. But football is much closer to that corner. We will be prepared for it as OTAs have started. Uh, I have no faith in this Ohio State basketball team. Um, Want to know what? I'm going to say it. I do. I don't. So I know they, they, just graduated most, they just graduated most of their seniors, though. So... 
Slim I'm, chance. They graduated as seniors. Liddell's gone. Uh, Branham's gone. Oh, Suey yeah. can't stay healthy. There's a lot of young guys. It ain't happening. This year. Trans Michi transferred. Another guy transferred. Where did Michi know. transfer to, by the way? Michi. South Carolina. Michi yep. So, I want, who uh, asked about them? Michigan's going to win the Big Ten. Uh, and will punch the coach. They decided to extend. Water polo, maybe? Yeah, probably water polo. Hockey. Football Continue. Who did they extend? They extended Ryan Day's contract. They added a two-year extension on it, added $2 million per year on that. Mm -hmm. It's well-deserved. After that outrageous basketball contract that was given so yeah, that's stupid. Uh, How the I'm, hell are you going to give your basketball coach you ain't done shit? Please your attention, and, 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 and then your football coach gets fucking a a two year. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand. Oh, right. you want to know what pops? You want to know what pops? You're right. We do need to give Holtman another raise. <laughs> Stop! 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 Stop. Stop. Right. Stop. I'm I'm interested to see what these freshmen do uh, coming in. I I still gotta have some faith coming into this year, but it, it truly is not going to get done this year. We graduated a lot of our top players and we sent did. off a lot of our top players, even though most of them were injured or hurt during senior night. For crying out loud, um, it, it was just a very big issue last season for uh, the Buckeyes. Just injury in general. Right, it, just, it, it wasn't good. No, it was I not a good year last year. Game. I didn't realize they gave me that experience. Mm -hmm. We I still get it there. I, I mm -hmm. thought the university was smarter than that. I'm going to be honest with you. For what? For basketball. Football, that was a genius move. He, whatever he wants, write the check. Um, right. Yeah. Ryan Day, so, today, uh, so Ryan Day was on the morning juice with uh, Carpenter and uh, – God, I can't think of the other guy's name right now. Um. Oh, and God. Um, you know who it is. Uh, Brandon Bean. Yeah, Carpenter Bean. And uh, one thing, it was actually really good for everybody to go listen to that little segment, mm -hmm. if they can. Uh, Ryan Day is actually, he talked about kind of the insides of deciphering the NIL and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they, they congratulate him on his section of the contract. And the first thing he said was, hey, I want to stay in Columbus. I want to be here as long as I possibly can. So write that man a check as many years as we have to. Yeah, because that, that's the coach that I want. Pretty much, you should just sign the check and let him fill it in. No, nah, give him, they should co determine the number, but just let him sign how long. No, <laughs> give him a blank check and be like, whatever you want, for well, however long you want. Blank years, however many, however many years you want to be here. Because Ryan Day, won't, I guarantee you, Ryan Day is going to say it's not about the money, it's the atmosphere. Oh, and the, it the, is. I mean, we'll see what happens with the contracts, but yeah. So, do you think if, like, let's say, like they win, let's say they win it all this year, mm -hmm. and in another two years they win another one, so they get two and three years. He'll retire a Buckeye. Do you think he would look at the NFL? No, he's already been there. As a head coach, you don't think he'd look? No. That they'll give him an offer and he. Try to make him sniff it, but he ain't going to. He's going to no, stay. No, because I, th I, I think if he was going to, he would have taken the Bears' job. Mm -hmm. Do he, you think he had the opportunity? Do you think he would do something like I'm going to go to the NFL because to the Buckeye culture, it's more important that they get Brian Hartline as the head coach than me stay here and we lose Brian Hartline. The first thing I see Hartline doing is going to Tennessee and, and linking up with Frable before Hartline leaves Ohio State. And that's saying if Hartline even leaves Ohio State. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, yeah. it's gonna be, somebody's going to offer him a head coaching job at some point. I guarantee he already has been offered. He probably, uh, yeah. Um, Maybe not by a D1 school, but I'm sure he's probably already been offered. I, got, no, I, I, I can even go as small as a small D1 FCS school. I guarantee yeah. he has been offered. Yeah, I guarantee you had offers too. I mean, like at some point, like Even offensive coordinator positions, I'm sure you had offers for too. Like, but I think that's what. Here's the thing with Brian Hartline. That's the next step that he has to take is becoming the full OC. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
He, he's got to hit that step first, and then we'll yeah. talk about taking a head coach job. And honestly, if he does, he, he's going to make it with the Ohio State University. Yeah, well, it. that's going to so, be his first offensive coordinating job. Yeah. The other thing that I think goes, and um, people don't talk about it as much, but as you guys know, as much as I hate them, I'll give credit where it's due. Um, he might be the best recruiter in the country. He is. Uh, no, one hundred percent. The only one that I think could be better is Larry Johnson, and on the same staff. No, there's. I... Larry Johnson. I love Johnson, but I, I think it's Larry Johnson had his prime years in the two thousand tens to early, like later, like after twenty fifteen. That was his prime. Yep, he just <clears throat> he was just passing the torch down to Brian Hartline. I he, think. Oh, here you go. Andrew. I can't even tell you right now off the top of my head who would be – Heartline has brought in so many guys. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, I, can't, wow. I know number two is probably another school, but I can't even think of who it is right now. So For recruiting James Franklin? Them? No, James Franklin doesn't know how to recruit. Let's get that right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. Years ahead. <laughs> yeah. James Franklin can't recruit out of a wet paper bag. He doesn't even know so, what game it is half the time. So, realistically, like... No, but number two would probably be Saban. Saban, yeah. Number two would definitely be Saban. Uh, um, it, very close behind it, I'm sorry, Jimbo Fisher can recruit. Jimbo can recruit. That's why I'm thinking that maybe Jimbo over Saban, but that's still a stretch to say. Here's the other one, fellas. We're going to see it. Lane, uh, not, Lane Kiffin can recruit as well, but uh, Lincoln Riley at USC. USC is going to get all the California kids. Lincoln Riley yeah. is a rise. He's a rise, but he's not there yet. No, and I think the Lincoln Riley situation is single handedly just because of the NIL deal situation. For the uh, fact that he can make those guys a lot of money, and it's just a money grab at this point. Allegedly. I'm going to go on record. I'm going to go on record and say it. <laughs> yes. Lincoln Riley's a bitch. <laughs> I, I second that. Fuck you, you, him. You going to copyright that? Put that on a t shirt? Hold on. Hold on. Listen to, uh, hear me out. Lincoln Riley is going to do all of this just to fall to Connor Winningham and the Utah Utes another year. The Utes, <laughs> baby! Yeah. And They're going to oh. do all of this. And yet, yeah, Kyle Winningham will still, even though Utah lost a bunch of key players, the <laughs> Utes will still be solid and run back to Pac 12. And oh, Oregon's still going to slap USC around like nothing. I'm looking at the camera. Hold on, Dalton. I'm looking at the camera right here. I'm looking right here. Right here with my Ojos. Utah is the next team that is not a power school to be in the playoff. Yes. I wasn't worried about that. I'm looking at racing. Don't you do it. Don't so, well, no, I'm, I was going to use it as, as an example. Like, I'm going to have. You know what? Instead, I mean, of, uh, in, instead of McAfee's shirt or McAfee's face, I'm going to have my face and underneath it. Oh, no, I'll have my face and Dave's face. And underneath it, it'll say Lincoln Riley's a bitch. Yes, I want that T-shirt made. Yeah, oh, Dave's I Dave face. That, that might um, take a lot. Of, that might do a lot of printing. Just put Dave's head on there. So mine too. Here. Um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it, and uh, you guys are all gonna get mad at me, and it might end it. Um, what Sark is doing at Texas is right. gonna be some next level of recruiting stuff. I said it. It's not Sarkeesian doing recruiting. It's not freaking Sarkeesian. Sarkeesian. James Franklin's a better recruiter than Steve Sarkeesian, and we all know Sarkeesian ain't recruiting. Awkward. 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 Yeah. Don. You know what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Say it. Say it. I'm going to say it. I'm ready. Steve Sarkeesian. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Yeah, yeah. Steve Sarkeesian's a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, and the horn's done. And the horn's done. A bigger bitch. Done. Oh, Dave, done. only two things come from Texas: steers and queers. Uh, I'm not going to. I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it. We are okay. God damn it, Tom. By the way, it's, it's off a movie, guys. Relax. It's off a movie. Um, I got a brisket at Kroger's today for two ninety nine a pound instead of four ninety nine. So I was a happy camper. 
Uh, uh, inflation like is robbery. hitting my brisket. <laughs> what? Inflation's not hitting brisket. No, no, it has because it's usually four ninety nine, but it's on sale for two ninety nine. So I'm saying it's, Memorial Day weekend. Not hitting it. Yeah, that's why yeah. I got inflation to be five bucks again. You you had to have a uh, Kroger card to get that. So hey, I'm a Kroger member. So Who Kroger doesn't does? have a. My Kroger sister used to work at Kroger. I just plug her number in and it works. So I uh I might go back tomorrow and get another one and freeze it. So uh, Paul, if you're still watching brisket for Sunday. Yes, yeah. <laughs> he got a lot of nerves. It's cheap. <laughs> he got a it's lot cheap. of nerves. I will buy it if I have to. No, Sunday is the mayo and the brats. Sunday is a mayo and brat day. Papa knows. This man knows what he's talking about. <laughs> well, man, uh, on mayo, that note, uh, man knows what he's talking about. Well, on that note, I, I think it's about time to wrap it up. Um, so any final thoughts, colorful anecdotes, uh? Fun, new, adventurous items. I don't know. Mayo uh, and brats. No. Respect. Mayo and brats. All bulls in the LGBT community. Just FYI. Thanks, Off that cup. You're welcome. Thanks, 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 thanks for the safety. Yeah. Thanks for the safety net. Thank you, Joe. I got two things real two quick. Things. Number one, bold statement because I'm reading USC schedule. Uh, they're going to drop our loss on September 24th. To Oregon State, upset by USC. That's going to be terrible for him. And two, be on the lookout for our new episode of Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. We are looking to record Friday night. Once we are done, we're going to be pushing it. So late Friday night, Saturday morning, we're giving you something to listen to. Be on the lookout. I'm going to say it. Our hour time. I'm going to say it. Ricky, say he it. Did Where we that? He did the thing. He did, he did the thing. He did the thing. So on that note, I will thank you for listening to Not Your Average Sports Fans Podcast. On that note, buddy, I think we're good to get out of here. But uh, I think that is all we're going to have, sir. I, uh, I I feel like it's a good stopping point. I it, just... is, it is time to go to bed. Thank you for listening to the Not Your Average Sports Fan Podcast. Please give a review and smash that like and follow button. Where are we going? Ralphie's? Ralphie's? Yes, sir. Sounds good. Okay. Cool.